My name is Susan and I am a senior guide here at the zoo and give tours and talk about the animals and I'm here to read a book to the flamingos today. And that book is called A Flamboyance, A Crash and a Dazzle. And it's about names of groups of animals. Flamingos look silly. They're pink and they're tall, with big funny beaks and eyes really small, boisterous and loud, a colossal annoyance. A crowd of flamingos is called a flamboyance. Big feet and big heads, third largest on earth. Some think their horns greatly add to their worth. They're gigantic and noisy, courageous and rash. A whole group of rhinos is considered a crash. The stripes of a zebra go from tail to the face. They're fancy and festive. They look cool when they race. They run like the wind, wear themselves to a frazzle. A big group of zebras? What else but a dazzle? A business of ferrets. It does quite sound formal, but living in cities would just not be normal. They move right on in where the prairie dogs live and eat them for breakfast, but don't wear a bib. Pottery of prairie dogs, that's hard to say. Experts in digging, they squeak all the day. Stay close to their burrows, beat a hasty retreat, because for ferrets and eagles, they're a real tasty treat. Those snakes really rattle, those snakes really move. They slither and samba, stay back, behooves. A whole group together, all day they do mamba. But what are they called? Rattlesnakes are a rumba. Large shaggy baboons aren't politically correct. They have an opinion they often express. A big group of monkeys with egos humongous. They think they're in charge and are known as a Congress. You cannot see one without saying moo. Some make a sight and scream. Others end in a stew, stew. For them we get cheese and cold milk to drink. More than 12 cows, we call them a flink. North, south, east, and west, iguanas are found. Some are vivid and bright and some are just brown. They're large and they're small and I must confess that iguana lizards are known as a mess. A conspiracy of vultures, subversive it sounds. Without all they do, there'd be trash all around. Intestines and livers, hearts, kidneys, and spleens, they'll eat it all up and pick it quite clean. Otters are awesome, smart, playful, and bold. A whole bunch together are fun to behold. They're so good at hunting the fish that they chomp, they have time to play, so we call them a romp. Giraffes are a tower. What else would they be? The tallest on earth that you'll ever see. Spots on their bodies, long tongues and long necks. When they try to drink water, they look so perplexed. A mischief of mice. That's, this is easy to see. They hide in the closet and eat all our cheese. Sometimes elephants jump when a mouse comes along. The trouble they cause is incredibly long. A quick streak of tigers. Now, how cool is that? These handsome striped fellows are the really big cats. They're fast and great swimmers, sleek large carnivores. This means they eat meat. Watch out, deer and boars. Elephants, pachyderms, one and the same. They're huge and they're smart and have great big brains. A herd all together, because they never forget. A memory, it's called. They're too large for a pet. And that's the end of a flamboyance, a crash, and a dazzle.